Hello, hello. Um, it, uh, today we'll be doing day three of Advent of Code. And maybe day four if it takes me like an hour. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I am. I, I did. I did not. Did not do it yesterday when it came out. And I was able to, so I'm like one day behind. But if I can, I'll try at least. Well, first of all, I try to finish it. I don't know. This series is a lot harder than previous ones. Like day one was crazy for day one. Um, and yeah, well, I we'll see what I can do. Uh, okay, so let's begin. Gear ratios. You and the elf eventually reach the gon a gondola lift station. He says the gondola lift will take you up to the. Sorry for that. Okay. Um, he says the gondola lift will take you up to the water source, but this is as far as he can bring you. You go inside. You go inside. It doesn't take long to find the gondolas, but there seems to be a problem. They're not moving. Ah, you turn around to see a slightly greasy elf with a wrench and a look of surprise. Sorry, I wasn't expecting anyone. The gondola lift isn't working right now. It'll still be a while before I can fix it. You offer to help. Yeah, of course you do. The engineer explains that an engine part seems to be missing from the engine, but nobody can figure out which one. If you can add up all the part numbers in the engine schematic, it should be easy work around which part is missing. The engine schematics, your puzzle input, consists of a visual representation of the engine. There are lots of numbers and symbols you don't really understand, but apparently any number adjacent to a symbol, even diagonally, is a part number. And you should be in and should be included in your sum. Period. Do not count a symbol. Here is an example of engine schematic. Okay, so we have four, six, seven adjacent to asterisk. One hundred fourteen does not adjacent. Thirty-five, six, six hundred thirty-three. Okay, in this schematic, two numbers are not part numbers because they are not adjacent to a symbol. One fourteen top right and fifty-eight middle right. Yeah. Every other number is adjacent to a symbol and so is a part number. Their sum is 4361. Of course, the actual engine schematic is much larger. What is the sum of all the part numbers in the engine schematic? Okay, well, let's see the input. That's bright, <laughs> as always. Okay, we have a bunch of numbers here. Um, I did skim through that question yesterday. I wasn't able to solve it, but I did did come up with an, an idea maybe of how to solve it. I'm not sure. I didn't try. didn't really think a lot about it, but yeah. Um, there seems to be most three-digit numbers. Um, but I'm gonna assume. I'm gonna assume uh, I have can be more than three digits. Um, also, when I was looking at this yesterday, um, I did not find any um, one number adjacent to two symbols. 
but I will also try to solve this issue if it does exist here, like like and one number just into two symbols can be a problem because if I'm if I'm counting one number, um, like I'm seeing a symbol, I'm counting this number, and I'm seeing another symbol, I'm counting when I'm counting the same number. It is a problem, kind of, sort of, because uh, I'm not supposed to count one number multiple times. So I will uh, work around it by erasing the numbers, turning them into dots. Also, also, um, I probably a good idea to pad the input. So we don't have to check for boundaries. What I mean is, like, put a row of dots of dots at the top, row of dots at the right, at the left, and at the bottom. So every time I go through a number, I see a dot, I can stop. And for example, I'm checking this number, I'm going like that, and there is no dot, so and I'm out of range. But if there was a row of dots, so I don't have to check. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and make thing. Switch to Visual Studio. Okay. I'm going to add resource download it. Um, wait, what's the name of gear ratios? Okay. Gear ratios. Ratios. Okay. Um, hello, Clovent. I'm, I'm doing a puzzle. Um. I'm going to add an algae ratios header file. And CPP file. Okay. So First of all, let's create a namespace. Um, I'm going to call it gear ratios. That's. I'm not supposed to call it. Gear. Yeah, gear ratios. What is Pragma? Um, Pragma once is, as far as I know, it's basically like saying, like include this file, um, don't copy include this file. When I'm uh, including it, oh, <laughs> okay, nice one. But yeah, it's supposed to include, <laughs> supposed to include it uh, only. Uh, so no duplicate includes like um if i mean if i do include here say gear ratios and i include this file and in this file include also gear ratios then cause a problem but pragma once goes around it hope this information helped you
Um, now, well, I need a parse input function. And include the vector. Also string. String. Um, um, F stream in that's it for now. Just go and make a vector of vectors actually or matrix. What's so sad? Why so sad? Um, input. That's output. Okay, so I'm going to include this file. And second from the ratio. So, gotta create the or this thing to read from a file. That's that's key ratios. Okay. This is open. Oh, I did surround it. If this is open, then I'm. Um. Well, then I can proceed. Uh, I'm gonna create the current line. So how do I pad the the output? That's not output, that's should be called input. I'm getting. Um fine. So well first of all I can just I can edit it. I mean Take me a lot of time though. So all right. Um I'll create the matrix first and then I'll pad it, I think. No, that's a bad idea. Well, so let's go get line function. Um, first of all, goes to key ratios, then current line, meter ratios. And I have to create of the line. I'm gonna well, first of all, each line should uh, be 
start with a dot starting it string um and end with a dot so that's not a problem the problem is the top and bottom think about that quick way of doing it i mean i can just count it and then do it again but with dots um Oh wait, I can just well, that's gone now. That's that, that's gonna erase the dot. Um two. let me let me search for a uh, string functions. Okay. I need to add um find push push back is at the end of the string insert maybe put additional cap into the string right before the cap let me oh okay. So insert at zero and push back. So current, current line push <laughs> push back. Six in a character, right? Yep, and current line. Dot insert takes in it a letter. Wait, can I just give a zero? Fine. Not a begin. A begin work. Um, so I'm padding each line, and I need to actually I mean, I can grab the size of this string, so I know which size vector to back here, but. Let's let's see. I don't need. Mm. So four h char in current line line push back. It's it's char. Also, and this. Okay, and after this, I'm pushing it into push back. Fine.
key. No. Um, how do I insert, how do I insert a vector at the beginning? Uh, I'm gonna search it up. So we also wait now. We should have insert here, right? Nice. Erase insert. Yeah. Insert. Okay, so Oh, so let's create here. Star of um what's that? Now I'm gonna go on the length of our line. And just insert and push back dot. Okay, and input push back dot slack input. Insert <clears throat> in and dot slack. Okay, it's at a print function. I can check it actually works. Void print matrix. Can I get a note? Tricks in here. Function at the top from the ratios. Is it gonna go? Through this for that are um line in, in matrix and for each star in, in back gonna out. Elias. The out. C. And after this, it's uh, make a new line. Okay, it should be fine. Um, so let's get to that. Thing. Problem. Yeah, I did not put <laughs> here ratios. 
and this. Okay. Just this. And that's an input, so I copy all that. Input. Okay. Will it work? My screen is too small. Let's go with the. Uh, I'm gonna download the sample. So. Just a moment. In text document here we show sample okay um you'll be able to see um, okay so that's my sample I should be able to see this. Let's change here. Um, so, so I like so what about this. Ah, whatever. Okay, run it. Ian, that's not what I wanted. I mean, it partially is. Let me see. Let me show you. Yes. So we have the right padding on the left. On the right and the bottom. This, however, not supposed to be. Not. Um, push back. Insert is the problem, but. I mean, it's not exactly a problem. I can keep it like that. Just take more runtime over all those dots. Uh, but no, I don't. I don't want this. I want to. Oh. Oh. Um. This should work. I know why there's a problem. This should work. Okay. I'm so confused. Wait, but that's... Oh, wait. Ooh, I'm doing it each line. Where's the go? Oh. I think I see. Yeah. Okay, I get it. <laughs> it's supposed to be outside of the while loop. Um. Yeah. Problem is. Okay. Well, it's line that size, but you can just go over input at zero. 
what size that's supposed to be the case. Okay. Yeah, now that now that works. Show you. <clears throat> so we have padding at the bottom, at the left, at the left, the right, and padding. Okay, now I can get into the so puzzle. Okay. First of all, I'm gonna need to and can go through. This return void, now it should return int JSON JSON? How do you write a JSON? Yeah, that. Okay. So, int adjacent number. Um, just gonna pass the inner vector. That's a line. So the moment I found this, I find a symbol. Uh, oh, let me, let me go go over what. Where is it? Okay, so I'm gonna search for a symbol that is not a dot nor a digit find it uh, and then there's three cases i need to go over i mean no technically two so i'm gonna check one above that's a dot that's a number i'm gonna Check to the both sides until I find the dot, and I have my number, and I just convert it into int. Whatever. And if here is a dot, um, if there is no digit here, then I'm checking diagonally. And diagonally, I can go like again till I find a dot and uh, read the whole number. Also, same with here, but if I'm going diagonally, then I'm going diagonally in both directions. Um, same with the bottom. Here's actually an, an example why I'm doing it like that. I was just going diagonally, then checking underneath. Then I'm going to read 35. I'm going to go down, and I'm again going to read 35. I want to read this number once. Um, but this is just finding the number itself. Um, also have to pass in here int um, index. So I want to know where to search okay close that's from key ratios um and or int i Num index. Um, no. While. <laughs> while. M. Line. At. Num index. 
Well, it is a digit. It is digit. So, while this is a digit, I'm going to run to the left. Then I'm going to run to the right to actually read the number from left to right. Write it in string that I will turn into a number. Um, so, um, index minus minus, because I'm going left. Here I'm creating a str uh, create a string. Um, the number itself, and they also have to increase number six because it's now it is not on a digit. And while same thing. Um, I'm going to append the characters, um, the digit. And I'm going to go the other way. Okay, and I'm just going to return Toy of num in, uh, of num. Okay, this should work. Let's let's actually try it. Um, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna let's get those two. Need it. Oh, again. <laughs> I'm those are characters. Four, five, six. Dot. 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 Okay. Um. I'll, I'll... Okay. Um. That's zero, one, two, three, four. Let's go with four. It should be still four, five, six. So int num equals. This thing. Input and again what was zero one two three four. Print number. Okay. Let me show you it works four five six amazing okay now the change it um to read number read number Actually, could we just use the rename? But okay, it's not there. Um, I don't need. Okay. Now I just need a function that will go through the thing and search for a symbol. So. Gear ratios um int sum of part engine parts right um creating the vector here the matrix here so I don't need actually 
Don't need to pass anything. Vector star input. Okay, um, parse input. Okay, now I'm gonna go. Oh, let's go some sum zero, and I'm gonna go for it. I need actually index indices, so with the regular for loop in put dot size plus and for int j input at zero put i but it's supposed to be the same size but whatever um now uh i think i will write another function that will search in a circle yeah let me do that and return No, I need the call directions. It's not just one index. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it here. Okay, so if input at i at j is is not not digit not a digit is digit my bad it's not digit and not not dot then I know I stumbled upon a symbol I cannot defer this digit returns true or false What? Question must be a modifier or L value. Or oh. that? What? What's the problem here? Oh, problem is not the not. What am I missing here? It's not the it's digit. I think, oh, you don't see actually the there messages here. Uh, it it's telling me expression must be a modifiable L value. What that means. Um 
worked here. That's not. <sighs> That's weird. Did I write it correctly? What does that mean? Or? No, I need end here. Not a digit. If it's not a digit, um, wait. Oh, yeah. That's that's not it. Actually. I thought I found it. No. Oh wait. Problem. Yeah. What is going on? What's the problem? I'll assign it here. Okay. Uh, uh. Is digit C I'm missing something stolen, am I? This must be modifiable. Oh, yeah. Why is that a thing? It's stupid. What? Okay. Okay, I'm getting somewhere. What's the problem with that? Okay, you know, I want to ask questions. It works. <laughs> That's what important. Okay, so I know I'm at a symbol. And I'm going to check. I'm going to check uh, top first. So. Let's go. If. Input right here. No. Yeah. Input at I at J. Is digit. No. Oh. 
this digit when I'm gonna pass the uh, that's I minus one. All right, minus one. Yeah, yeah, it should be minus one. If it's minus one, then I'm gonna. Go and this thing pass it by reference. Okay. And Wanna pass input uh, input at a uh, minus one. Uh, minus one and okay. Yeah. yeah. That should work, right? So sum equals wait number input I minus one okay. okay. Else, if um, actually, I need else, I need two ifs not connected. I need to check both ifs. So, if of this thing, this. But it's minus one, and this is minus one. If this is a digit, then plus this, and also I'll check for this plus one plus one. Sum, sum plus equals. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of if elses. I don't like it. Um, I mean, what can I do? Also, here at read number. After I pass it into num, I'm gonna erase it. Pass to a reference, so you remember that. Um, okay. Case one. Now if wait this now now i'm just gonna check left and right so if um this but it's actually i and this is minus one if it is a digit then i'm passing the 
vamos para cima. Desce. Um, async i and k minus 1. And if same stuff, and I'm passing i and j plus 1. Okay. Um, actually, uh, and let's here check the download. If this wait, one more time. I wait, no, check it after the diagonal. Those are the diagonal. <laughs> okay, if this then. That okay. Else wait. Actually, don't. I don't think I have to um I mean don't tell about the else I guess because I'm erasing the numbers anyway. Uh oh, whatever. Who cares? If this in the diagonal minus one Then here, minus one, and plus one. Okay, and here I'm checking left. Here's the left, and here's the right. So that's supposed to be it. If it works, that is. So, then some. I didn't think it will work on the first try, to be honest. But who knows? Not me. Um, in the sum. I mean, there is a number. Certainly is a number. It's a zero. It's not supposed to be a zero. But it didn't crash. So that's good. Okay. At least something. Let's go debug this, I guess. Um, okay. Input size. Oh, yeah, that's a problem. Oh, that's gonna be. Oh. Have the. I don't have to, like, can't I just jump to the next? Yeah, let's. Yeah. I, I is one. Here, I one. Um, J two. So, two. Zero, one, two, so now J is supposed to be seven, one, four, four. 
Where's the f what? That's not the input. What? Four, six, seven. Ah. Uh... Let's add a start at four six seven. Oh, Did it... it's still supposed to give me the song, is it? Um, I'm supposed to check not dot. No, wait. You can just check one up. Oh, if it, it's not digit, it's still a zero. I'm gonna hold it for a while. Okay. I'm at four six seven oh what what's that <laughs> that's not it what why is the what again where the fuck did it go? And if I don't erase stuff, to zero. What's what's going on here? What? What's going on here? Where did the star go? What happened here? <laughs> what? I am so confused. There was a star there. Go. <laughs> Input. Here is a really cool star. And ju and it's just gone. <laughs> I'm not modif I'm not modifying the the input. I commented it out. Why Huh? What? This digit. I mean, I guess. Uh, 
Let's let's sprint and recover. Let's see. Out. In. Put. I. At. J. And do. Fine. Um. Here is the star, but when I'm and if I wait, if I do it, I do it at the end here. What the fuck? <laughs> Where do the symbols go? What happened? Should I not pass it by reference? I mean, I can, but uh, I don't know, I guess. Nope, still removes. What is going on? It it does not go in here, that's for sure. Moves them on checks. What? Ooh, fuck. What the fuck? Wait. Oh, it gives me a number to the correct one. I did an equal here. Jesus. I don't need to print it anymore. That was. Incredibly interesting to say the least. Uh, well, um, here is the number I got. That's that's the correct number for the sample. Okay. Now let's just can I on this back. Yeah. There we go. It works with this, okay. Um now let's parse input to the sum. It crushes. Amazing. And if I remove this, if I remove this again. Still crushes. Amazing. Uh, go on. Where it gets. Oh, it crashes really early. You, you don't see my terminal, but it counts to from zero to three. So it crashes on four. Fourth one. Okay. Let's go and mm. I 
I want to, I want to just the ratios so zero one two three here it crashes I want to check why um at dot here and here at the end also this I'll take some time. Okay. And new line. Let's Problem here. I'm closing quote. It's one string. Should it be on one line? Is this? You know what? Whatever. It's fine. I don't care. Here. A line and other sets. Um, populate. I'm gonna just check on this. Lines to why? Why isn't it working? Fuck. Uh. Yeah, all this for nothing. I this copy this. This is a string. I'm just checking left and right. Uh, Freeze. Oh, <laughs> here. Okay. Um, uh, second star. Step. I don't know. Input. Put and by reference. And scroll. Stamp for for each 
temp input push back three okay and then and input so input and temp okay and now doing the remember number read number Int um, number of let's four put size and I plus plus. Okay, so is digit digit and is those num equals Input I what here input. Um, well, let's see if it crushes. It does not. I print. Just print like. Was have here so. Also, my one. One for three. You know. Five for four and six for four. yeah. Okay, so no, at least the problem is not in read now, right? Now this. Um. Give it to this. And oh, give it no, it's still crushed. Super good. Hmm. Can I like wait? Where is okay. debug? I cannot hear maybe conditions right so i equals equal four
okay, uh, string out of range. Um, position I three. Okay. What changes? I pressed something by mistake. Hey. What? What is that? Where did it popped out? I don't understand. Um, okay, so that's zero one. I don't see it. That's zero one. I think that's four. Oh, it's gonna crash. Is crashed here. Okay. Um. Actually, let's let's give here same condition and remove this one and go into uh I was plus three okay can I do it here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't, I know. I get it. I get it. Uh I want this debug when we uh, actually You know what? It's already here. Why not? Wait. <laughs> it's only the condition here. It's um. Where is it? Here it is. My oh god. If I put a condition here. If three, I don't know if Um, I've okay. So the problem is line three, actually, not four. So let's do the same thing here. 
Yeah. Uh, that's zero, one, two, three. Give it crashes. Please, right? Okay. Um, I will come this out and this out. And the train cars put populated and pull the number thing number. Input uh, in put and four four put dot size and I plus plus. This is a digit. If it is a digit, put at i. Then pass in input and i plus. Didn't close it. Okay. It does. I mean, you don't see it, but it crashes. That's probably good. Okay. Um, num it's 14. Now it's 13. Why? One four one one four. Okay. Oh, no. oh, again one one four. Right. Let's go. Four. Five, eight, eight. This is fun. Dev. Six. Three, one. Problem is this the problem? Fourteen. That was a fourteen. I didn't get this. Okay, what? Oh, 
No, that's fine. Okay. Three, three, three. Oh, what's the position? It didn't crash. What? Okay, now it didn't. Uh, I think that's a different problem. Probably. Oh, God. <laughs> Um, okay, you know what? Let's let's come this out and Okay. Gonna this. Put and not. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, that's fourteen. Not crap. Fourteen hundred shit. Uh. Okay. Okay, let's go with this. I get why it didn't crash now because it's probably struggles to read maybe from the left. Let's uh, maybe from the right or here. So that's 14, that's 15. So this will not and so never mind. Comment this out. Bug it. What? Okay, again. One, one, four. One, four. Oh, okay. One, one, four. Okay. Now, fourteen. One. That's a dot. Thirteen. Right. One. One. Four. Okay. Huh? 
What? What? Is there an invisible character or something? Doesn't I already checked it? it doesn't crash when I uh, zero one two three four five six seven eight ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen. Yeah, and 16 crashes because of this. What if I check for. Second, what if I check for. If. It is not a digit. Um. Not the digit at the place they provided right now. Num index then turn zero. Oh, yeah. I think the problem here is different. Oh, no, it did give me a... Okay, let's run that. And there's the magic number. Um, no, this... That's the number. Uh, I honestly don't know how got into a number without checking a digit. Um, it probably won't be correct because well, let's try it out anyway. No. Yeah, it's not correct. I mean, okay. Uh, problem here. I mean, does not. Why? Okay. Um, minus one. Stop and shoot. Else goes left, left, left diagonally, right, and right diagonally. Okay. Mm, this. This goes down. Down. Um, yes. Okay. This. Down left diagonally. Good number. The checks down left and here. Down right. This is left. This is 
Um, put question of this. We have a new number, um, which is this. And let's see if it is correct. It is, yay. <laughs> so I spent what? Like half an hour on this stupid thing because I had a plus here and not a, made a it was a minus here, not a plus. So that was fun. Um, I mean, it's kind of, kind of because of all those if else if else that are very similar. Um, I don't know how to do it. Like I don't know how to get rid of them because I need to check if this is a digit. Or not actually, wait. Do I have to check if it's a digit? Wait, can I just, can't I just, you know, go on every side and that'll be it. Cause I'm, I'm racing it anyways. So shouldn't be a problem. Um, that's that it. I think that's. Yeah, okay. Um, so just check around it. Uh, oh, and he Here I'll actually check if this is a digit or not. If it's not a digit, then I'm returning zero. So sum equals top left right all that stuff. This this. This, this, if it doesn't work though, I'm not debugging it. One. And that's, that's one. It should work actually. Uh, I forgot to switch back, but let me show you what I did. Um, I just put all this inside of all those well statements, and um, works. I think. Let me check that. Yep, the same result. Because I delete this. Um, what was it? Here, if it's not a digit, like I did not just pass a digit, I'm gonna return a zero. Um, and well, if the fir first one is a digit. And I'm just going left, going right, actually reading the number, and returning the number itself. And here I delete the number as I read it, so um, I won't read, for example, th three digit numbers three times. Uh, also, the problem with the uh, number in the middle, upwards, uh, also, 
not a problem because if it goes upwards it's going to delete the whole number so when it checks left um it just there is no number anymore so yeah that's the first half i don't think i'm doing the second half today <laughs> uh, not, uh, sorry i don't think i'm doing day four today but the second half maybe maybe i am at what one hour 40 minutes already so yeah i'm gonna end soon anyway the engine finds the missing part and installs it in the engine as the engine springs to life you jump in the closest gondola finally ready to ascend to the water source you don't seem to be going very fast though if something is still wrong fortunately the gondola has a phone labeled help so we pick it up and the engineer answers before you ca oh my god i'm not i mean i'm reading it anyways but I did not switch all right before you can explain this the, the situation he suggests that you look out the window there stands the engineer holding a phone in one hand and waving with the other you're going to slowly you're going so slowly that you haven't even left the station exit the gondola the missing part wasn't the only issue. One of the gears in the engine is wrong. A gear is any star symbol that is adjacent to exactly two part numbers. Its gear ratio is the result of multiplying those two part num those two numbers together. This time you need to find the gear ratio of every gear and add them all up so that the engineer can figure out which gear needs to be replaced. Oh fuck. Um okay. So and I have an idea. Um first of all, I am now looking only for the symbols. Second gear is alright, the gear Adding all, all the gear ratio. Okay, um, so this check falls into a star, just star. So if input at i at j equals to a star, then I'm um, going to count digits so int wait no that's this problem of um the top one so i mean i i can just go with a bunch of ifs and else's stuff uh will be too much and okay um If well, first of all, int um, digit amount adjacent digit amount zero. Okay, so if um. Yeah, bull flag, um, bull check. I'm gonna just call the flag was true. No equals false, 
and let's let's give it a name check um check is digit connected so if is digit at if is digit input at connected up at i minus one at j then this is that's true and it will be false okay and same with down if that's plus one then this is this is false oh fuck crap okay i'm gonna go over the code i just did um sorry for that i did i'm gonna count the amount of adjacent digits i have digits i have um i'm gonna connect if the digit at the pop if i have digit at the top like right right at the top not diagonally if i do i'm gonna turn it to false same with down i'm gonna turn it to false uh and now i'm gonna check for actual digits around so Um, I'm already checking it, so it's also big numbers. No, isn't it amount plus plus? Oh. So. And I'm gonna int product out of um uh goes to zero Um, yeah, that's and I'm gonna put in the product found. Ah, read number, number. Input at i minus one at j not at j j um and product Okay, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same here. P 
here and this is down it goes plus one okay now if Um, wait, let's go and check. Is up false and false, and that's true and true, and this is not. So, if it is not, then digit there. At minus one, one to get a lot of this and check all around if this is mm -hmm. and okay, it's minus. One minus one. Uh, okay, now up and right, up and right, plus one. Now, uh. up then here and it's not connected down then I'm also gonna go just forgot here again that would be fun uh down so down will be plus one here minus one and that's plus one one do not forget this. Okay. Also left and right. If at i a minus one. I j minus one and at i j plus one one and if if um numbers around if adjacent digit amount equals to two then not equals to two then this is equals to zero and sum plus equals product this is actually different. Oh, the sum of entry parts, and this is int product of parts. Parts, I'm gonna copy all that.
Okay. He's kind of ugly. What can I do? I'm not good at thinking. Forcing it. What? Forcing it on the finding here. This. Oh shit. That's what wait, what? No, that's fine. That was fine. I'm just tweaking. Um, okay, what, why does it not, oh, yeah, do, this is from here, station, and, and, and now it can, See. Why does it sort of finger parts? Oh, the ratio is not a ratio. Hey, um, now this sum should work. This here, okay, that. Oh. Is, uh, is digit Is not digit. End. This is not equals dot. On this one. Oh. Uh, what? Oh my fucking god. This. Okay, this. And this. This. <sighs> One. Some of product. Hey. Okay. Uh, and let's check if this works. I don't need that. Um. It doesn't crash. Nice. This is the number. It's really big. And uh, this be correct. Meet. Let's go. I did it. Day three. It was annoying. I also... I want to go over day two and make it better. Also, I got to day three because that second part looks ugly as fuck. 
Okay. Uh, but yeah. But like part three. Nice. And this is part four. I'm not going I'm not doing it right now. I'm two hours on part three only, so for now I'm behind one day. Uh so okay. Thank you for watching. Um was was fun. Just answering what pragma is. I appreciate that question. So, yeah. Um, again, I'll be uploading it on YouTube. So, if you have questions, stuff there. And it. Bye bye.